Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I decided I was gonna get ready and I was like, you know what? Why don't I just film like, you know, my makeup, my everyday like makeup look. It's definitely not everyday makeup, but I know you guys are used to seeing the Instagram baddie from me all the time, but like I do have a go-to makeup that I do uh, usually go to when I'm gonna go maybe out with some friends or a family party. Like I have a go-to look that I love. I also wanted to share some of my favorite products. I do have my holy grail products and I realized that I don't always post them on Instagram because they're my holy grail. I use them every single day so sometimes I or I often forget about them but today I thought it would be perfect to show you guys like my makeup that I always use and then my makeup I use to like create looks and go wild okay so first things first I did use this glow glow mud cleanser from pixie beauty um she was cute it was fun. I did use her in the shower. Now I'm going to just go in with the Miracle Cream from Better Skin Co. I'm going to just put this on my face, apply it to my face, um, put some moisture back in because I did just wash it and strip it from its natural oils. I love this Miracle Cream so, so much. It's actually my favorite. So for those of you that may not know, um, my brother, Glamour by Josue, has a collaboration with The Better Skin Co. He has beauty oils called Glamour Drops and they're the best thing. This combination, like this moisturizer with some of the Glamour Drops are just just incredible. It's such a good combination, something that I love. Unfortunately, I did leave my Glamour Drops at his house, thinking that it was his, not knowing it was from my bag, but I don't get to put it on today. So I'm going to go right in with skin. Should I just, I'm going to do skin. You know what? Just gonna jump right in. First, I'm gonna go in with Max Strobe Cream. I feel like it changed the game once I bought it. I was like, why haven't I bought this before, right? So I'm just gonna put some on. And then I do have a clean beauty blender. And I always clean my beauty blenders with the Ellie Maya brush shampoo and conditioner. I always use that product. I don't, wait, it's actually right here. I always use this one specifically, but there's nothing that cleans out my beauty blenders like this product here. I mean, everybody knows that it's amazing. I feel like everyone already uses it because it's almost unreal how fast um, it cleans your beauty blenders. So it's kind of like, why wouldn't you have a new clean beauty blender every time if it's gonna take you two seconds? Like you should have seen before I started this video, I went to go clean it and this was like really, really dirty. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this on my forehead, just everywhere I kind of want to be glowy. Just gives you that health, healthy skin glow, you know? I am gonna go in with, I have a makeup bag by the way. This is what I put all my makeup in. This is from LA Girl Cosmetics. Shout out to LA Girl. Um, That's like my go-to. Like if I leave this somewhere, it would be really bad. But now I'm gonna go in with the Becca Cosmetics. It is all rubbed off, so please excuse me, but I'm gonna go ahead, put this all over my face. This is the Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I really like this foundation. It might be heavy to some, but not for me. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this foundation with a foundation brush. This is usually how I started off, like just to spread it out. Because I feel like beauty blenders don't do a really good job at spreading it out, just like keeping it there. Now I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just go ahead and blend this out. I have a few things to do today. I am filming for a life update video, and that one's gonna be out before this one, so I'll definitely uh, leave that linked down below if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out, just so you guys see where I, have, where I have been and what the hell I've been up to, because all you guys were like, hey sis, where's your videos? 
So, I don't know about you guys, but I've been keeping up with the whole beauty community is really going through it with all this craziness that's happening with, you know, you know, you know, Laura Lee and Manny, Kita and Gabriel and Jeffrey. It just really sucks. In my opinion, this is my opinion. Okay, everybody makes mistakes, okay? Like, we all make mistakes. Just so happens that hers were, you know, very public. In my opinion, we all make mistakes. My thing is with Laura Lee, there was coming back from this. Like, duh, like, you know, we, you know, we would have forgave her, whatever. But just the way she went about it and the way she's handling everything is so far off. It's just has, has gotten so much worse. Seeing her apology video, it's just like, ugh. But you know what, we all make mistakes. You know, nobody's perfect, but um, own up to it and grow from it, you know? I don't know, she needs help, you guys. But all I will say is, karma is one hell of a bitch. Okay, anyways, so I'm gonna use my very well-loved ColourPop concealer. I love this concealer, but it's so weird because my friend, Andrew Stevens, says he hates it. And he's like, how do you put that on your face? Honestly, kind of like this. I just kind of go like this. This is what I do. And normally this makeup does not, like, it doesn't take me that long. It's just a really quick, like... And I already know what I'm gonna do, you know? Like, it's not like I'm like, what shade am I gonna use today? Like, I already know which one it is. I already know who she is. We've already met. She practically is my best friend at this point. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. I'm definitely not gonna straighten it because that will take me seven years. Now I'm gonna set my concealer with this OG MAC Compact. She's missing a few things. Um, she's a little used and loved, um, but I love her. I love her so much. So I'm gonna use her to set my under eyes. This is a BH Cosmetics brush, and this is in the number two. It just fits nicely under the eye. I'm gonna set underneath my eyes. All right, so after I have set my face, I'm gonna go in with some bronzer and I'm just gonna bronze her up. I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics brush in the shade area in the number three. And I'm gonna go in with this MAC Studio Fix in the shade NW55. She's nice and bronzy. <laughs> And I'm going to sort of contour, not so much bronze with this brush because it is a denser brush. So I'm just going to apply the product Really, I'm gonna place it and then so I'm gonna go in with this fluffier brush This is from crown brush and it's in C500 and then I'm gonna bronze with her See how there's a difference? I'm gonna use this fluffier brush. There's less product on this brush too. So I can just really get all up in here. So I'm just applying her on my cheekbones, bronzing up the face. For some blush, I'm gonna use my favorite blush palette from Ofra Cosmetics. I love this palette a little too much. This is the Ofra Blush palette is literally what it's called and it has just a ton of different shades and They're so cute like every single one I use this palette almost every single day Even if I'm in a rush and I've traveled with her and she's still intact I'm gonna go in with these two pinky shades and apply them to the apples of my cheeks. I Love these two shades. They make my skin look nice Okay, so now that I have done that, I'm going to go in with some of the Tatcha Luminous Spray. Just spray the sides because I am getting ready for some highlighter. Ooh, that just got in my mouth. <laughs> 
Actually, it did not taste bad. Okay, Tatcha, coming through with those natural, natural oils or what? I don't know what's going on. Now I'm gonna go in and apply some highlighter to the top of my cheekbones. I'm using this brush from Be Bella Cosmetics in NG321, and it is my favorite little brush that I use specifically for highlighting my face. I'm gonna use this uh, Becca Endless Bronze and Glow Palette. She's fun, and I got it as a gift from my brother, not knowing that it was gonna change my life. Like, I use her every single day, every day. So we're just gonna apply her on. She just makes me look like I have really nice, glowy, healthy skin. Right? Go in with my beauty blender and just push her in. So I'm into, really, really into Khalid right now. I just love his voice. I've loved his voice for so long, but I just didn't know who he, like, I didn't know it was him, you know? Like, I knew every time I heard it, I loved it, but I just didn't know it was him. So now I'm just really, like, into him and his music. I come to know he's, like, 19 or 20, so I was like, oh, oh. That's interesting. That's so good for him. He's so young. But he's so talented. Like, he deserves everything he's getting. Because he's just like, oh, his voice makes me fall in love. I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in Ebony. This is their dip brow pomade that I love so much. And I use this every single, single day. I'm going to go ahead and line or fill in my brows. If this was a more glamorous look and I knew I was going to be using like maybe darker eyeshadows, I would probably do my eyebrows first and then my eyeshadow and then my foundation. But because I'm, it's just like a bronzy look today, so I won't be using like too harsh colors. I'm going to finish uh, filling in my brows. Some people honestly live for my brows, other people don't understand it. I always talk about this. I definitely get the best, the best of both worlds huh. when it comes to people liking or disliking my eyebrows. I just recently finished school in June, which is why I wasn't uploading so much, is because I was at the end of my school years, like my final semester, my final year, and I just wanted to like focus, because if I didn't focus, I probably wouldn't have finished, because I would have been so busy that I would have pushed school aside. So I was like, let me just finish this, and then I'll be free, you know? Now I've been working full time, and it's so much fun, because I'm creating constantly so it's actually like so much fun I have a lot of ideas for this channel I've always had so much ideas um, now it's like all I want to do and I just had a moment like I needed to go through what I went through I just had a moment where I kind of felt a little lost and it was kind of making me nervous and I was always like constantly surrounded by really good people or people that made me feel good because if I was around anything else I'd probably have a panic attack. Favorite product of this whole entire video is this palette right here. Baked Browns from Joseph Colors. I'm gonna go in with this fluffy brush that I use this thing for every single eye shadow that I use. Then if I need to change the color, like say I use black and I need to use like gold, I'll go ahead and swirl it into this uh, color switch. And what you do is like, if you have black and you wanna take all the black off, you just swirl it into this bad boy for a couple of seconds and it's like clean and brand new. It still might be stained from the pigment, but it's like brand new. Like you can put it on your skin, nothing, nothing. And I'm, I use this poor little brush for everything. I love this brush more than a lot of things. I'm just gonna go in with this bad boy in the middle just to even find out where my crease even is. And then lastly, I'm going to use this darkest shade. Just apply that as close to the lash line as possible. Even if it's not possible, just, you know, to the lower part of your eye. 
and then blend it out. So now I'm going to grab this smaller brush and I'm going to go into the darker brown again and I'm going to go right underneath where my lash line is, my bottom lash line, and I'm going to smoke that out. And I feel like this really does bring out my brown eyes too, you know? Like it's cute for brown eyes. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. My favorite. Love the original. It's just like waterproof is so hard to take off and I feel like it's ripping my lashes every time. Every single time. I feel like, oh, there goes another 10 lashes. Oh, there goes another, like, it feels like the worst feeling ever. Um, but my brother, he only does waterproof mascara because he does full glam so he doesn't want his mascara running down his face every time his eye gets like a little teary or anything so he kind of has to use that's probably the best time to use waterproof mascara when it's time to take it off it's really difficult big difference right Mascara is so much fun. And the hand mirror that I am using is from Impressions Vanity. Luckily, they are official sponsors to the entire tour of the makeup seminar um, that I am the co-host and education specialist. But as some of you may know, it's ran by Glamour by Hostway, which is my brother. So yeah, we love Impressions Vanity. I love Impressions Vanity so much. I love their stuff. They have the cutest stuff. So I'm going to take this teeny tiny lip liner from NYX Cosmetics in the shade Coco. I'm going to line these bad boys. So... Once I am done, I like held in my breath by the way doing that, I was like not breathing. I'm gonna go in with this loved lipstick from Jeffree Star in the shade Nathan. It's so, there's nothing, it's so worn in. I love this lipstick, so this is definitely a holy grail. I'm just gonna... I love this lip combo so much. This was a gift as well for my birthday from my BFF and I was like, thank you so much. Ooh, definitely gonna tame this hair. I'm gonna apply her and she's just gonna change the game really fast. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna do my hair off camera really fast and then I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll come back and show you guys. This is it, you guys. This is my makeup. Cute, right? Okay, so this is the final look. I just put my hair up in a bun because then I popped on some lashes. I wish I knew what they were, but they were some lashes I used prior. Um, for a makeup look, I believe. So yeah, this is the completed look. I'm just gonna go out, run my errands. So anyways, let me show you my outfit. Let me show you the whole ordeal. So I did just pop on this denim jacket. It's from Urban Outfitters. I did get it a few years ago, but it's one of my favorite denim jackets. And then this black shirt is from Forever 21. Plus. And then these jeans, I believe, are from Fashion Q, which is like those little boutiques that you see everywhere that are similar to Fashion Nova, but 
it's it's fashion q fashion nova same difference um they both get their clothes from the same place but anyways yep this is my outfit some Adidas. don't mind laundry in the bag i'm gonna be traveling for a few months so i have to get that done like yesterday cute right all right so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like this video give it a like if you want to see more videos like this then don't forget to subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one duh